If you guys don't know me, my name is Roman Pruitt. I'm a software engineer in a fame company. And today I am bringing you my tier list of companies to work for. I'm going to be ranking it by high value for non CS majors. These are jobs like if you've never programmed a date in your life, right? How do you know, how do you get to the 200K? Do I think it's realistic? And so I have a list of companies and um, some of them I've worked for, some of them I, um, I've interviewed for, and I'm going to be ranking them and letting you know, what do I think? Is it something that is, and this tier list is for somebody that has never programmed before, right? Like what is the possibility that a programmer who does not come from a tr traditional background can get into a Google or Facebook or something like that? So let's take a look. So we can start with Amazon. Amazon, I would say, is a great company to get some experience. It is, um, they give a lot of people chances, right? Out of all the fame companies, out of all the fame companies, if there is one company that is, that is most likely that you are going to work at, it is Amazon. And Amazon gives a lot of people chances, whether you come from, whether you dropped out of college, whether you have, uh, whether you've gone to Harvard, like Amazon, you, you see a wide spectrum of talent at Amazon. And so for that reason, I'm gonna say, but at the same time, Amazon is kind of one of the more cooler tech companies. Um, they definitely give you some unreasonable demands. You don't get free food. Um, like it, all the other fan companies. Um, so, uh, I'm going to point for now. I'm going to say it's mid. I'm going to say it's mid. Uh, I almost want to say yes, if nothing else exists, just because, um, guys, like, I can't even tell you is money. And this looks terrible. I probably should have done a better job of this, but if you guys can see, I'm putting Amazon right there on my list in the mid category. Um, yeah, I I want to put it a little bit lower, but I do think it. Uh, in my in my opinion, money is not worth the pain and the sacrifice and the struggle. But um, definitely, if you're a young kid, you probably want to make a name for yourself. You probably want to like get the bag. So for y'all, uh, I'm going to say it's mid. Now, American Express. So I used to work in the industry as a contractor for American Express. And I have seen, I have seen um, varying levels of talent. Like I've seen some people come in without any CS degree and get a job. In my experience, like when you work a fame company compared to a non CS company, it's like a whole different ball game. Like generally at these fame companies they are run by a lot of smart young people that are working long hours. And when you get to a company that is uh, already established, usually it's being run by older people and they don't really touch the business logic, right? American Express, they might come out with a new blockchain invention, but they know that their money maker is the credit cards and the credit card business. You know, they they might need to get more machines, but it's not changing a whole lot. And so for that, I would say I'm going to put it as mid as well, because you're going to make a lot of money. It's not going to be that hard to get in um, if you have the right degree and you go to the recruiter and you talk. Um, I can definitely see somebody in a non-CS background getting to this job and doing very well. So Apple, Apple, I would say, let me think guys, I have probably never received a serious interview from Apple in all of my like time. And so I'm gonna use that as a basis that these guys are pretty selective. 
That's not to say that um, you can't get in there, right? They might have some great people in there, but um, yeah, I would say Apple could be selective. I've seen some of my friends that go to um, to what is it, companies in California, or they went to university in California, they got into there a lot easier. And again, guys, a lot of this stuff is just being in the right place at the right time. And so I, I worked harder than this dude, but he got into Apple just because he went to a traditional CS school and they were recruiting at his place. So I'm going to be putting Apple as high value for CS majors. Um, I think, um, yeah, you could find your way into Apple, even though you don't have a traditional CS degree. It's just going to take a lot more networking and a lot more uh, studying of skills. So we are at Discord. Guys, like I love Discord. I think everybody wants to work at Discord, but Discord is kind of interesting. Like the two main languages that they use is Elixir and Rust. It's C++ and React. So those are four languages. Um, and they are highly selective about the people that they allow in there. I had, I remember I applied to Twitch. This was, I mean, not Twitch. I applied to Discord. This was pre, uh, this was pre me working at Twitch and I got rejected within like two hours. So yeah, they're pretty selective. I would not, um, bro. Like in their smaller company, um, do I can I see somebody getting into there? Uh, now that I think about it, I have ranked. I've done the tier list. I think S is supposed to be the highest, right? In the green, lowest. But yeah, I would say I'm gonna put this Discord. Don't even try. Okay? Like if you are a <laughs> if you are a uh, non traditional CS person. I would not even try to get into Discord. It is it is going to be a waste of your time for a while. And I'm not saying like, what if Discord grows, right? What if Discord, and let me get a close up back on the thing. What if Discord grows, right? What if Discord becomes uh, interfaces with PlayStation, Xbox, and um, they just have all this business, they do that stuff, yeah. Maybe you can get in, but I would say Discord, probably not even worth it. Um, um, not worth trying to get into. Like they, they probably will come to you um, or your your network will probably be at Discord and they will probably be like, you're a strong dude, unfortunately. And so um, Meta, let me see, this is still, this makes sense. Like I want to rank this guys for y'all like, in a sense, um, let me do a backup and I'm going to make this a point. So you guys, I am making this tier list for you, for the non CS majors, right? The, how likely are you to get a job at this company? The top of it is for, it is, uh, if you are very likely and it's this good value and the bottom is for hey, you are probably not going to get a job at this place in your lifetime, no matter how hard you work. Like, don't even try. You'll probably find better opportunities if you just don't even try to work for this company. So, and I have been, I placed Discord at the very end just because they're extremely selective. And I don't even know, I, I'm not interviewing for them, but I imagine it's going to be tough. Um, Meta is a great company. Meta, you can get into because they have a lot of offices, right? Um, it's not like Discord. It's not a smaller um, company. I would say, and yeah, uh, I want to say, I believe that Facebook is extremely selective about the people that they allow into their, um, into their place. Like I've seen people say that they did well in the interviews and they still couldn't get a job just because they didn't know anybody on the inside. I remember I had a Facebook recruiter and she said, if you don't know somebody on the inside, it's going to be tough for you to get in because 
Right. They want somebody to vouch for you. Even like that's what I'm saying. Even when you pass all the interviews, right? You still might not get the job. And so for that reason, I'm going to be ranking Meta as um, mid just because you probably are not getting in there um, unless you have the skill, number one. And then number two, you know somebody, your connections and your network is at Facebook. Or, you know, you've worked 10 years at Netflix and they just like, we believe you, bro. Other than that, I don't think it's, I think Meta is, um, is a hard sell for people to like dream about. Next, we have one of my favorite companies, some places I want to get to. I've seen a lot of black engineers and make it all the way to the top. Not a lot, maybe a few. But I think this company is lit. I've had an interview with them and it wasn't any of that lead code nonsense. It was a, um, can you solve this problem within two hours? And I didn't. Um, I think uh, I, I wasn't ready for that style of interview. But I think that is super realistic to how it might look in real life. And so um, for that reason, I'm giving GitHub high value for non-traditional CS majors. GitHub is a great company. You're probably going to make um, well over 100K. And you work remotely, right? So let's say you want to fly to Cancun, work for a week, fly to Texas, maybe go to New York for a month. You can do that with GitHub. You can't do that with Google. Like, actually, I don't know. With Google, you could. They, I've seen some people work remotely. But the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of companies are not going to allow you to... Um, like Amazon wants you to work in the office. So with that in mind, we're at Google. And I would say it is high value for uh, CS majors, right? Like, don't get me wrong. People who have been through boot camps can get in there. But super selective. They're not playing fair. Um, man, guys, I can tell you. I had an interview with Google and the guy, my recruiter told me that the reason that I didn't get the job is that the guy, I did my interview on a Google Drive doc and this guy entered it into a compiler and it didn't work. And I'm like, bro, like, and he showed up late. I'm like, bro, like, if I had a compiler in front of me, I would have done it, but hey, that's life. That is life. So Microsoft, pretty selective. I'm not completely sure. Um, Microsoft hires a lot of people. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a high value. Microsoft is pretty good. I, I can see a lot of non CS majors getting into there eventually. And the work life balance is pretty good. So you might still end up staying there longer. Netflix. Um, Netflix is not even worth trying. <laughs> if you don't know anybody on the inside, if you don't know anybody on the inside and you are not really strong into engineering, it's probably not a good idea to even try to get into Netflix. Right now, Netflix has grown a lot. They used to only hire seniors. And... Right now they are hiring junior engineers. So it is, you know, there's maybe there's more potential in the future for them to grow and help people out, but pretty selective. I personally, right, I have experience in Twitch ads and Netflix is big on ads now. I cannot get an interview with Netflix and that should let you know, right? With my experience, Cornell, uh, me, having Twitch on my resume, right? Me having all these industry experience, I can still not get an interview with Netflix. Even if I reached out to the recruiters, you know, they just get so many people trying to get in there. Netflix probably is going to pay you the most money out of all the tech companies. And because of that, they're selected. Salesforce, uh, I don't know a lot about Salesforce. I've had one of my worst interviews there. Like the guy just went to lunch on me. 
I thought that was interesting. I wanted to put in here. I think Netflix is, I mean, Salesforce is a pretty big company. So, but through that experience, I'm going to give them a minute. <laughs> now, Square, another great company. Square has a realistic interview process. If you want to get in a cash app block, I loved the interviewing process for Square. I thought it was fair. You could basically go about doing these things like a, they basically try to solve the problem together. It's not like a, hey, can you solve this problem? If you're not, you're an idiot. It's like, hey, me and you work together. Let's see how me and you work together. Can we solve this problem? The dude is not going to give you the answer, but he is going to like try to like work with you. I really respect that culture. And um, definitely they have a big bag and they were remote. So uh, it can be, I think it's a great company. Um, super realistic, even if you're not, um, even if you're not a big programmer, right? They give realistic questions and more people should do that. I don't know why I have Google in here twice. Twitch, Twitch is interesting, man. Like I've seen people get into Twitch with no interviews and that is super selected. Um, not super selected, that's networking at your finest. Twitch, I don't, from what I have seen, the interviews have not been that hard, but guys, like I, Applied to Twitch when I was in college, ignored, right? So getting the interview can be insanely difficult, insanely difficult. But um, for that reason, I'm going to say, and then look, the value of Twitch. Twitch is great. Like I would say, I've seen people, I want to put Twitch at the top, right? I've seen non-traditional CS majors get in there, right? But I was laid off from Twitch. And so I want to keep that in mind, right? I've heard a lot of people say the culture has changed. It's not the same anymore. And they're on the downturn. So for that reason, I'm going to say high value for CS majors. And I'm not saying like, definitely you can get in there if you're not a CS major. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give one more close up of my list just so you can see it. Make sure that it's in big. This is the list right now. And yeah, let me guys know if you want me to rate any other company. Um, yeah, stay, don't even try to, don't even try to apply to Google. I mean, not Google. Don't even try to apply to Discord or Netflix right now. It's just, it is, if I can't get in and you are a student, actually, Pause that. If you are a student, you might have an easier time getting an interview. If you go to a career fair and if you are, if Netflix is hiring students from your school, then that's a great sign. But other than that, I think it might not even be worth your time. So uh, appreciate you guys for listening. Uh, let me know if you want me to add any more companies. I would love to do this again. But other than that, we are out.